Well, hey, yo, man, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and we're going to make the assumption that you want to be the biggest paramilitary wannabe on your block. And if you want to do that, this is probably the bag for you. We're not talking about none of them there maxpedition, expedition, whatever it is. We talking about the real deal, Holyfield. Talk you used by real type military all over them there when they're deployed out in that their real world. It's not some wannabe gear. And I really like Maxpedition, but I'm not going into combat with it because it's fucked up, doesn't work, not comfortable, can't carry enough weight, blah, 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 blah. Now, this pack said here and says, this is the Falcon 2850. Now, I've been in this game so damn long that they renamed the Falcon 2850 to the Falcon 4000, and then they renamed it back to the 60 whatever who gives a shit what it is. But you can look at the features, and unless you're a fucking moron, you can figure out what this pack is based on Kelty's designations, because the pack itself has not changed. Only them their designations, man. Now, what this is, is about a 4,000, pretty damn close, cubic inch pack. Might be more, might be less, don't give a shit. What does it do? It actually works. It has the proper, that their suspension system. Has good airflow, top, bottom, everywhere else. Even there where the paddage is, man. Look at them there strappages, man. Look at that there, that buckle, man. Oh, God. And you, oh, oh, it just makes me want to, oh, God. Yeah. And just say, it's just, it's just amazing. So you have good airflow. You have good retention as far as you have two metallic stays that go up through it. Similar, except these are external to the pack that the Kelty uh, MAP 3500 has. But as I said, this is more of a, this is, it's got that there, that there, you know, molly type stuff, man, and the pile stuff goes, goes on it, man. And, 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 and it goes on 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 the on the belt, man, and the bottom the sides. Of course, we've got a, an area here that's clear, and then we've got still three runs up on the top. Now, why is this pack so good? Because it will carry a tremendous amount of weight, and I didn't even mention that there Molly tap stuff on this and their garbage, baby. Now. You have a couple features. One, when you're out for an extended period of time, a good admin area is important. Um, you don't need that there big long flappity thing here. These zippers, and you have to forgive the, the dirt and the dust and everything else. You got three pins, which is great. You got a couple other pockets. You've got this stuff. You have, you know, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Shopped and warm and fuzzy, baby. And you have that area for your glasses, goggles, whatever. Then, once you get past that area, you have the ability, without ever dealing with the compression straps or anything, to basically uh, open that there package upage. Oh God, we got that there nose powder there. You can't have that, baby. Well, we've been using this pack for doing some of that there climagen. You have an interior uh, pocket with a zipper, da 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 da. And then you have two pockets on the inside. And what these I've always used these for are for more uh, abrasive elements or things that I need to basically get to. So, we have the ability to open it on the face. We have the ability, just like any normal pack, to open it from the top 
uh, and access things at the top. This pack is made to where it's very modular and we're going to pull that there thingamabob out, man. And then an entire new top comes out of it with Molly, with this there or the other, even with a pocket under it to replace the brain in case you have to use the brain or you don't need it uh, given a situation. You can easily unclip it and there you go man there's that there brainage so we've got a pack we have the removable brain I'll get back to the brain here in a second now another feature this pack has down here at the bottom got that there buttage there man you have a built-in rain fly and I think you can understand what a rain fly is good for, da 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 It's built into this pack. Now, of course, we've got our pack here. We've seen all these features, da 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 Let's talk about the brain right now. The brain, of course, is a multi-use pack system. It has an internal pocket here. You go under that pocket and... You basically pull out some straps that you can use as a waist belt and this becomes a fanny pack. I don't ever actually use it like that. I use it as a cross, uh, cross shoulder system. It's the only cross shoulder system that I really uh, like and can use very easily. And of course you can do things like strap and strap and clip and do that kind of stuff to make that there a little more, you know, make it a little more workage, man, a little more better, man. In the brain, not only do we have the molly, which pouches, packs, whatever the hell you want to do, you've also got your two areas here that you can unzip. And then you have a, a center section, which probably isn't going to come across well in, the, in, in film. There's a divider there that you can zip or unzip. Uh, and anyway, you, you get the point. There's a divider between those two sections. You can zip and unzip, make that a single pack. One of my favorite features is actually uh, this pocket here, which is just a nice wide pocket. Uh, and you can see from the way it's designed, basically how thick it is. It goes all around. But, so we have the Kelty. Back in the day, it was the 2850. Then it was the 4000. Now it's the 60, whatever, who cares? If you want to be your top paramilitary want to be on your block, this is actually the pack I would recommend. Um, it is not a cheap pack by any means, and you have to actually see um, you know, what the prices are in your given area. But given all the options, all the configurations, the removable brain uh, with, sh with straps, the rain fly, the, the extra uh, lid, the this, the that, and the other, you know, you have you can choose as far as what's best for you. But the one thing that I need to actually um, convey is this pack's ability to carry a tremendous amount of weight, and that's something that you don't get with the Maxpedition, simply because it doesn't have as well as well of a built integration system as far as the harness or the uh, the belt and then these two metal stays that go up through it just you know they seal the deal it makes it where you can actually transfer the weight onto your hips and make it actually work you've got a lot of other things like this here where you can you can clip another pack in and da da da, da. and there's a lot of things and of course you have quick release uh, you know Straps, man, all that kind of other stuff, which is kind of important when you, when you like, when you using that in that there that there that there deployable type situations. Um, but this is a much better choice. Um, the only thing you're going to run into probably with this pack, 
that you're not going to run into with with one of the max editions is limitation on color choice and that's just based on uh, you know what they're making so we've got the it used to be called the falcon 2850 was called then it's called the 4000 now it's called the 60 whatever you want to you know when do you want to buy it and what do you want to buy this is guns knives and watches with uh if you really want something with molly pals compatibility this there or the other uh, this would probably be the one that I would uh, I would go to before I went to uh, something else. This guy's nice and watches and peace out, man.